and this and this and this got to do with this. It's all to do with climate change, but what exactly is climate change? Something to see as ever. Places that were meant to normally be hot are becoming cold, and places that are normally meant to be cold are becoming hot. The Earth's temperature's changing so that the ice caps are melting. Climate change is what happens when the planet we live on gets hotter. Scientists think that the Earth is heating up and that this global warming can cause all sorts of changes in the weather, from droughts, flooding and rising sea levels. For Mohammed in India, what has been happening to the weather has drastic consequences. It was raining for 10 to 15 days. It never stopped. Our house was flooded with water and reached my neck. The water swept away all our things. Everywhere the water was going up to our knees. And we moved to the highway. In the night, we were all very scared. Climate scientists believe that this is a taste of the future. So what is causing the climate to change? Well, it is mainly the way that the world uses energy. We need energy for transport, like cars, buses and planes. For heating and hot water and for electricity to power things like lights, computers and photocopiers. The energy we use comes mainly from oil, gas and coal. Problem is, producing energy this way also produces a gas called carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas we breathe in and out all the time. <sighs> up in the Earth's atmosphere, it traps heat rising up from the planet and keeps the Earth warm, a bit like a blanket. This is a good thing, otherwise we would all freeze. But all the energy we are using is producing too much carbon dioxide, and this is trapping too much heat. The planet is warming up, causing our climate to change. But there are some solutions. Take electricity, for example. Electricity comes to us along cables from big power stations. These power stations pump out carbon dioxide 24 hours a day, 7 days a week and 365 days a year. That's a lot of carbon dioxide, but we can make electricity without producing carbon dioxide. We can use wind power, sun power and even power from waves and tides to make electricity. World leaders can decide to reduce the levels of carbon dioxide we produce by choosing to make electricity this way instead. They can also ban energy wasting products like these old light bulbs. And you can help too. The best thing to do is make sure you stop wasting energy. Just by switching things off when you don't need them. You can do your bit at home or at school. It's our future, all of us around the world. Make sure your school is part of the solution. Power down. Yeah, power down. Find out more at www.actionaid.org.uk forward slash power down. <laughs>